So speak up for yourself is the seventh book in your without limits series. And I was hoping we could take some time to talk about the other books in the series because they teach such wonderful lessons and have additional great opportunities for teaching. And the first book in the series was kindness counts. Can you tell us a little bit about that book? Yeah, it's a, you know, a lot of times you think of being kind as just something natural. Kids should just know how to be kind. And, and so just like anything, it, it actually is a skill that needs to be taught. Now, a lot of kids, you know, parents set good examples and the kids have learned along the way. But it, again, it goes back to it is something that needs to be taught to the students. And without limits, I like the title of that, without limits. You know, you don't want to limit kids' ability to be kind. And so it teaches them about random acts of kindness and how that really can just change the world and make someone's day. Yeah, that was a, that's a, a very fun book. And oh my gosh, there's just uh, lots of different opportunities of where uh, they, there's that random acts of kindness and that kind of pay it forward. And some of the struggles, because, you know, there's, I think there's being kind is, is something that, you know, you needs to be taught and, and, and it's something that we want to have that's just comes intrinsically part part of who we are but you know with kids they're learning and growing and processing and needing to understand that you know even though sometimes it's hard to give some things away there's the feeling that you give and some of the because i know that there was some there's there was uh like passing along toys and making donations and that and those types of things of where there's just great different opportunities to explore the oper the topic of kindness yeah and one of the scenes in there you know the kid and i think this is something kids can relate to he's got a magic sword in there and he's not really wanting to give it up he plays with it occasionally but not very often and the parents are like just think of how much fun you had with it think of someone else and in the end uh, you know, the, he gets all excited and he puts it in there and in and, and the, and the story, it doesn't say what it is. It just says a blinking light was coming from the bag. And so kids have to kind of predict what that blinking light was. And so hopefully they realize that he finally realized that, hey, this is going to make someone else's day. Even if it does make me happy, it's going to make someone else's even more so because it's going to be the first time they've used it and get to play with it. Right. And that whole and that idea of where um, the joy and fun that he had with it the feeling that good feeling he's getting from passing that along and how that is contagious and grows and makes you want to continue continue those types of things i i love that the realness of the story and it's okay to feel that way it's okay to to sit there and think oh but i really like this and to struggle with that that doesn't mean you're not kind it just it means you're human yep for sure absolutely 